This is Researching the Paranormal. invited patty negri patty is a uh, very well-known psychic medium we have used her on many different investigations of ghost adventures oh oh boy oh boy oh boy can't breathe i really 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 can't breathe okay we're just spinning we're going there's there's a lady on the ground what do you mean there's a lady on the ground I don't know. I keep seeing, um, it's like a visual. It's like a vision. This is the darkest place I have ever been. Light and dark are turning. Luck be in the burning. Light and dark are turning. Luck be in the burning. We want to raise the veil between the worlds. We kind of call in the spirits and entities within this house. What happened, dude? What happened? Huh? What just happened? What just happened? Well, we can leave this way. You don't know who she is. She doesn't know who you are. You two have never met before. You had two witches meeting together for the first time. We have found out that true psychic mediums that do have a gift, somebody who can just see and feel things in a hypersensitive level, they can really, really enhance our investigations. When I first came into the house, I felt something ominous as I walked in, and something literally pushed me up against the wall. Can you hear messages from them, or is it just the emotions? Wow. I just didn't want to go down there and have any effect. <sighs> I wanted her to be isolated in there. This is the pain. This is the pain. Something to the skin. Something to the skin. Dude, there's some dark here. Oh, my God. Right now. <laughs> uh, so, so. You want to try this one? Yeah. Yeah. We got show. Does that make you too short? I don't know. Sit down. Very gentle. No, sit down. Sit down. You're going to have to sit back. Okay. How's that? No, sit yeah. up and sit back, Andre. I'll just stand. Him, I'll stand. It's blocking his face. Are you sure? Yeah. Are y'all sure? I couldn't see him. Alright, how we okay, look so now? How we doing this? Hey, you know what we could do? What? Part I guess you look up right. spots. <laughs> yeah. But it's time to sit down, huh? Everybody what what is it? Chinese some shit where you run around the car? I, I don't know what <laughs> that is, but, but Oh, that's like musical chairs. All yeah. of us will switch spots. A few times. <laughs> Confused yeah. Patty. Yeah, it would be funny. I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to do this, though. Hmm. Your night light needs to get out my eyeballs. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK. Right. There we go. OK. Yeah, I don't think that's helping. So what do we think? All right, so what do you think, Leroy? As long as nothing goes. All right, OK. You can Good see enough. Us all. Is that better? Yeah. Can you see us better? Yeah. Who's that? Is that you? That's probably. How's uh, California? It's nice and sunny. And you got so trees. Nice. That looks nice and sunny today. Yeah, it's really sunny, yeah. Yeah, no snow? Hell no. No snow. That's good. Uh, okay. All right. So you ready to conquer some demons? <laughs> All right, so it's 155 according to that big ass clock. I said, are you ready to conquer some demons? How are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to uh, 
Uh, I already had one. Uh, I'll say. Look at me on a touch It's always good to be five minutes early. <laughs> yeah. I'm not to call it. Well, it, hopefully that wasn't me, but you never know. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay, so. I was watching the, the TV and uh, I was watching this uh, movie called Drellic. And then I looked in the corner and there was this demon looking at me and my name was written in Which Roman, Roman the letters the bowl. If we, and it said me so underneath. We put that part, that piece on oh, the really? And that won't be such a wow. Yeah. Much, you can see the wow. Wow. And of course you weren't recording your television. Why would you be? <laughs> I was shocked. I was like... What the hell is that? And then I looked, and sure enough, man, it was, it reach over here. It was, a, yeah. it was a demon, and my name was written out. I'll be darned. Oh, there you go. And these guys are messing with the lighting now. Because there's a glare on the TV, and it'll block out that camera. Okay. Uh, so we still see each other yes. really well. Yes. And then now, there's still a glare, but it's not as bad. You gotta tilt it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, maybe it's this needs to come now. closer to us. Closer to us? Closer and if down. The more it comes, the, I don't know if it can go down, but the more it goes, because you see, come over here. Come over here with us. You see that big old sun looking thing behind Oh, them? yeah. No matter how close or whatever we do, that'll always be there. Turn off, turn off that one of the lights. And then and if we get closer saying. this way, then you'll be able to see them both. Yeah, let's see if back. we turn off the little round one. Hey, now we might be able to open that up. How about up. that? This? Yeah, we might be able to open that up now. Since we're not... Fix the two blinds that are stuck. Light on us. Fix the two blinds that are stuck up front, up front, up front. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I just want to Now see. check it out. What's that? Mm, one of them. One of them? We'll keep this one in. Okay. There you go, yeah. There you go. Okay. How do we look now, Leroy? You look good now. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let me, I gotta call Patty. Okay. All right, hold on, Lee. All right. Bye! I can't hear you. Why can't I hear you? <laughs> oh, no. I cannot hear you. Let me make sure my fitting are right. Microphone oh, out. Uh, uh, I cannot hear you. Hey, do you think it's so late? Here? Let's go to change cameras. Microphone USB audio output. <laughs> no. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Can you hear us? All right, it's coming through the computer, but that's okay. I can hear you. Oh, okay, great, good. Great, great. Oh, good. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, oh guys. yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? I am well, thank you. So I have a murky we. dog upstairs, but that's well. okay. <laughs> I'll be over there in a second. I'm trying to add Leroy. He's trying, he trying to get Leroy. Yeah. Okay. Is it working? Yes. There we go. Add Lee. He needs to pick up the phone. <laughs> there you go. Pick up the phone. If you want to, do you have them on there though? Yeah, I'll try on this phone too. Okay. Alright, so. Alright. Alright, so until we get him on, <laughs> yeah. we're just going to talk about the, the Queen Mary real quick. Yeah, awesome. How was that? Yeah. It's great. It's a great boat. I've been going to it literally my whole life because that's the area I'm from. I mean, that's literally where we did our high school proms. I've gone to a million weddings there. So I know aspects of it awesome uh -oh. okay that is so, terrific we, we plan on going there at the end of may um to investigate so um we're just trying to figure out how to get in there because they they have it shut down and do they still have it shut down yeah mm. it is shut down mm. um yeah it is i mean because they thought it was sinking but the city just came in and saved it oh. now um I tried to get in recently just without pre-planning and not, not, did not happen in anything. I did just shoot there 
not too long ago with the TFIL boys, the YouTubers I work with, and I think they are planning to go again, but they have probably a way bigger budget than you guys have because they're those kind of YouTubers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they're making that work. I don't even know who you talk to, actually. Oh, it's a great okay. ship, though. Is it? it? What else is there? Yeah, again, even... Who have you talked to, Andre? Even in uh, high school, um, I saw, yeah. I was able to sneak into the oh, empty okay. pool, the inside Yay. empty pool, and I saw the little girl ghost in high school. Oh, oh my goodness. At, not, even just in the hallways where the hotel is, which again, it's all closed now. When you're not even on a ghosty thing, just hallways, you talk to the maids and they tell you everything. My girlfriend and I, my friend and I were just sitting there and she goes, she, I feel something going across. We've got this whole shadow. Right, no fancy cameras, just our phone, just sitting there, broad daylight in the hallway where the hotel was. Oh my God, stuff, I would so. love to have seen that. Yeah. It, 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 so so yeah. I, have, I have a question for you. When, when things appear to you, I, I, of course, I'm sure it's been going on since you were a child. Do you have any anything you could share as in when you had your first yeah. experience? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was just normal. When I was a little kid, I just knew that those little spirits that, that imaginary friends little kids have weren't imaginary or even close to it. They were real beings and spirits that I could get real information from and real and uh, and just talk to. And, and it just it never got taught out of me. I think it gets taught out of most people in our Western, modern, non-mystical society. And, and it just didn't. You know, I teach this stuff now at my school. It's like... It's not hard to turn back on. <laughs> no, no, not, a, not no, at all. Yes. Not at all. I have, I, I because I only ask because I've had experiences still, I still have experiences of when I was a little girl watching, I would watch an angel pray over my grandmother and then with, because it used to scare me. So as it goes on, I'm sleeping with my grandma, it comes to the other side of the bed. When it got to the foot of the bed, I just, you know, put the covers right over my head. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> how beautiful though an angel how beautiful yes <laughs> yes it's really hard I'm, to look at i'm patty by the way what's everybody's name oh excuse me oh. i'm siobhan i'm terry hi, siobhan. i'm terry terry robert hi terry hi yeah. robert andre and andre and then hi. Leroy. nice to meet you all nice hi. to meet you it's yes. so cool is there is there any way you can um add uh lee chase to the chat because I tried it and it wouldn't let me add them. Uh, let's see. Uh, add. Lee okay, Chase. here's an ad. Okay, who am I adding? Oh, Lee Chase. Lee yes. Chase. Done. I I clicked OK. Okay. We did we did the same thing. We're trying to get them up. Trying to get them on there somehow. <laughs> I don't think he's like this. I do little messenger stuff all the time. That's why my regular page is better than those other pages. Right. So is, is he there? Is he trying? Is he there? I think he's trying. It says he's, he's not, he hasn't joined it yet. He's allowed. He hasn't joined it. Oh, oh okay. tell him here. I'll tell him. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to tell him he needs to click join. Okay, I'll tell him. I have a question for you. Um, before you. Okay. Before you use your ability, do you meditate? I do all sorts of little protection opening, who who and what I allow in, yeah. Okay. I don't do a big deep meditation, I, I don't need to anymore, but I certainly do have um, ritual protection stuff that I do, yeah. Is there any certain meditations that you do to open yourself up a little more? I work elementally, um, so I work, and so this way also to not offend anybody else's belief system. I call in the, 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 thought, the focus of the air element, the fa passion and fire of the fire element, the, the emotions of the water element, the grounding and safety of the earth element. So I create a full circle and then you call in whoever else you want, energy, Christ light, all of the above. Um, but okay. I, I, was that, wondering. I, mean, I, I have opening and closing techniques. You guys should come by my classes sometime, you guys. I teach this stuff, and we teach a lot of stuff for paranormal investigators, and it's cheap. I mean, our classes run about $10 each. Oh, that's uh, really good, yeah. I take mediumship development. Our new little school, universitymagicus.com. It's like real life Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, love it. And so it's, it's called, yeah. what is it called again? 
University Magicus, M-A-G-I-C-K-U-S dot com. University is regular spelling, Magicus dot com. Um, uh, and we have different investigators from, like, we have everything from Catholic priests on staff that. that teach demonology. That's my little school. Uh, oh, got okay. it, got it, Perfect. got it. Speaking, speaking of uh, demonology, uh, Leroy does demonology stuff. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's, but that's, he, he's, um, he never we, we, his nickname is the Demon Hunter for our, our group. <laughs> he, <laughs> he likes to go hunting demons. And um, Siobhan, there you go. Siobhan is the, uh, the empath yeah. the, uh, of the group. And she does. I would love to learn how to make it stronger. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in the classes. She does <laughs> too. Cool. And uh, Terry, also, she's, we call Terry our overseer. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and Robert. Do you keep everybody costume. in line? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any tips? I, for me, the the medium part of me is in my brain. I'm able to talk to them and see them in my brain. Do you have any tips okay. on how to be able to to magnify? Because sometimes I yeah. can't understand what is being said. Yeah. Right. It's it's probably because as most of us, we get too stuck in our left. You know, we have our left logical brain. Our one plus one equals two. There's some. Oh, it can't be somebody, but that's somebody open to it. The right is our creative, intuitive, or spiritual. That's the one we see spirit. Whether we see them. On the outside eyes or inside eyes, or hear them, or just knowing. I teach the clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, claircognizant, clairgustance. Um, it's learning to shut down the logic for just a few minutes to get the clear message. Otherwise, they work against each other. They have to dance between. You do have to bring that other one back up, but it, you have to shut it down for us. It's it's about faith and whatever your belief yeah. system. It doesn't matter. It's trusting spirit without getting silly human limited logic in the way okay. for a minute. Then you use the logic back to translate it if you want, you know, if, to translate it and preferably without putting your specific belief systems in the way of the translation. Right. Okay. okay. Just get, getting the true That's message from spirit the way they give it. Okay. My book, too, again, I'm not really trying to do a pitch here, but my book you can download for six bucks. It has all sorts of stuff. We're going to have to go yeah, Old I'm world magic for the modern world. Right. Um, if you were here, I'd just hand you a copy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe when we do the uh, Queen Mary, again, you can hand me a copy. Yeah. We'll, we'll be in L.A. If you guys are all into them. We'll, yeah. be, we'll be in L.A. You'll during, be in the LA. Summer, during the summer. Yeah, during the summer, we'll be in L.A. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so. so, yeah, I don't know who to talk to for the Queen Mary, but it, it's worth a talking to. And uh, okay, and I do know that they. I don't know what people pay or anything like that to get into it. But I there's a bunch of other cool places I can tell you in LA as well. That's yes. that was my next question. That, yes, that was gonna be my next there's, question. If yeah. there's a place down in LA that we should visit, that's just just magnificent. Yes. See, um, well, I like Happy Ghosts because you know most 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 investigators go to like the insane asylum and the killers and yeah. all those things. Which we have those too. We have a lot of dark and crazy places. Um, but I like the happy ghosts, the ones that hang out at the Hollywood Athletic Club, the ones that hang out at the American Legion Hall, the ones that hang out at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, and you see Marilyn Monroe walking around the pool and hanging from the chandelier. Oh, oh well, now what's Hollywood that? Forever Cemetery is a beautiful cemetery that now that they've redone it and they hold movies there and they do and the spirits love it. There's the dark spirits, there's Aww. the light spirits. Oh, mm -hmm. darn. Yeah. Okay. I would love to go to the Marilyn Monroe. Yes. My family, my whole family, yeah. we have a Marilyn Monroe shrine, I, I call it. because we, we have do? Nothing well, she's but buried at a cemetery in Westwood and people that always go kiss it with red lips. And she's <laughs> married, buried right by Hugh Hefner. Um, but she hangs out at the Hollywood Bell Hotel, which is a beautiful <laughs> hotel right in the heart of Hollywood. Okay. And okay. she stayed there in a bungalow right by the pool. Ooh. Imagine yeah. getting in that room. <laughs> So Leroy had a question about Sharon Tate. He wanted to do an investigation on that. Okay, well my friend and I, I could talk, certainly talk to him. 
the, the Sharon Tate house itself has been torn down. Okay. But my fr my friend, I don't know, you know, he's a little wacky, but he's a sweet guy. Um, he lives with, um, why am I blanking out his name? And he lives five doors down. They built their house five doors down. And they do, they, he's done a whole movie about it called The House at the End of the Road. Okay. Um, and why am I blanking out on his name? I know him so well. Um, <laughs> You know so many. Is people. it one of those? <laughs> I was, um, and he does. He does like barbecues and, and paranormal investigations. I know a bunch of paranormal teams, like the New Reality, get good stuff from him all the time. Um, Stefan Brigatti and South Coast Paranormal get good stuff from him all the. I'm going to look up the name of the movie, then I will get it. The house at the end of the road. And he's on Facebook. All the time at mm -hmm. the end of the road. That's not it. Is that it? I said the end of the road. Is that powerful? Awesome? Sharon Tate. Oh, it's called, what's the name of the street? What is it? The name? Something direct. Cecil Drive. Um, right. Yeah. And when it comes to your classes, would we be able to do those online with you, or do we have to? Yeah, they're all Zoom. They're, they're all, all Zoom. Good. Awesome. awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I can start doing that. So, and then, so if, say, if me and Siobhan want to do a class, can we do it together, or do we have to do it separately? You can do it together and just pay for one, yeah. Okay. You say, cool. say, yeah. Okay. And again, it's, it's not expensive. It's, yeah. it, it, I don't understand the Patreon of it, but like $10 a month, you get one class a month. You could pay more and get... A class a week, two classes a week. There, we have eight or nine classes a week now. Oh, oh wow! But okay. I mean, that people who are like serious students know. But if you want like one or two a week, I mean, you just, just, just yeah. That that sounds interesting. Now, yeah. maybe one a week. Busy out here, but maybe one a week would be beautiful. Yeah, yeah when be. once we're up and running, this is going to be twenty four seven. So. <laughs> yeah. And it is, and, and again, really, oh, Cielo Drive, that's the mansion number, this is, this is the, the Sharon Tate's house, Reviews house at the end of the, it's so weird, because he's a dear friend. He's where the last people were there just before the big shutdown. And it's just one of those moments in my head. The movie is called The House at the End of the Road. It's, um, Cielo Drive, Cielo Drive. I think I've seen that. Google Books, a powerful story about race and identity told to the lives of one of the family who was three generations in 1914. House of the End of the Road regarding Sharon Tate. I just cannot believe that I'm blanking out on my friends. <laughs> Ah, Has it where been a while is, since okay, David Omen, David Omen, look him up, David okay. Omen, the David Omen David house, Omen. it's known as the Omen house, it is not the Sharon Tate house, he should swears that Sharon Tate is there, I don't know if Sharon Tate is there, but I've talked to a whole lot of other great, um, the little dirt basement -y thing, it's, it's right on Taylor Drive, it's right in the Hollywood Hills, right where there's a bunch of energy vortexes, so that's why we have haunted houses, Dotted up and down are my little Hollywood Hills, and um, <laughs> yeah. and I honestly think that that's why Hollywood is right where Hollywood is, is because it called in the dreamers, the writers, the actors, the musicians, the creators, and spirituality. Okay. He's trying to call now, Lee. Is he? Yeah. David Oman. Did you press it? Oh no. No, there's. Keep, keep pressing it. Okay, we got Lee trying to call. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not going through for some reason. Lee Chase. Yeah. Come on. Where are you? <laughs> push this button again. You gotta press the button. I think it's just it should it's already Now we can have more than two people, right? Yeah. I okay. have it every day I do I do <laughs> I do this every day. I I'm morning workout. <laughs> 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 he doesn't see where it says join. Yeah, he's he's pressing it. He's and when it comes to the Queen Mary, what what would be the budget? Do you know what would be the budget to be able to get in there? I have no idea. No. I've never been that into things. 
Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. He's still having a hard time. Did he's pushing the button? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a way that we can invite him in? So if that people, Lee Chase, all I can do is check him. That's what we've done. That's what we've done too. Yeah. Well, we had him earlier before we got you. Then we lost him. Ha <laughs> ha. Is he on I speaker? I wonder if we could give him a video call. Technology is so wonderful. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add you on the phone then. All right. Okay. You know, this is just why those ghosts ask, uh, ask us, what, what are you doing with that stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> it's like, who knows, you know? It doesn't work. Right. Where are you guys located? Where are your, where's home base? Oh, Reno. Reno. Reno, Nevada. Reno! Oh, yes. cool! <laughs> yep, we're out of Reno. We're all from various areas, yeah. though. Yeah, all of us from different areas, different toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's from the, I'm, I'm from New Jersey. I'm originally. from California, San Jose. I'm from Richmond, California. And I'm from Northern California, out of Redding. <laughs> Well, oh, northern. Cool. So, the only the far, but not too far. No. Oh. B, I'm doing um uh, the para. It's a it's a paracon in Tahoe this year again. I did it last Ooh. year. It was really fun. Ooh. Um, it's at the at old haunted Sheraton in Tahoe. It's really good. You guys should come as a team. Oh, yes. definitely. Uh, and let us know. Whereabouts in Tahoe? On South Shore or North? Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me see. I don't, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I mean I I don't know. It was an old Sheraton. The old Sheraton. Sheraton. I can't think of Sheraton. Where. It must Lake, be in South Shore. Tahoe. Sheraton. It is called. That's not it. <laughs> I just, I just booked oh, it. No. Paracon. No, Paracon. Paracon. Uh, yeah, I remember is that. He, is he, oh, is he there is he trying to get um, Para? Well, he's on the phone right now with us. We're doing it. Hi, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he says, hey. Uh-oh, uh -oh, what is that? Uh-oh. That's your McCaffrey. Let me get that off. <laughs> what is that? That's <laughs> a, uh... Something that's security. security thing. We could just get it off of there. Oh, what? <laughs> if it'll leave. <laughs> Are you put clothing? There we go. Oh, something got something new with security. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, well, that is. Anyway, I can't find it, but I will yeah, find it. But it's coming up. Here, I can, wait, I'll, I'll look on my phone and see when it comes up. That's uh -huh. all right. We can look this up. Yeah. Paracon. Yeah, yeah, we sure could. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we will be there whenever it is. Yeah, whenever it is. <laughs> yeah. And, and a lot of teams come in and it's really fun. You good? Yeah, we would uh, like we to know. Yeah. 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 Then we could get to know other people as well. Yeah. Our, exactly. our, uh, our next biggest trip is San Francisco. We're going to Alcatraz. Yeah. Nice. I would. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I've never investigated. I've been there three days ago. I was at the um, USS Hornet this past week. Oh. The, the, there's, it's in right there. It's in Alameda. Uh huh. Um, and that was oh, pretty so haunted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Was it? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the well, sutra? Find it. Oh. Have you ever heard of the sutra? Heard bath? of what? Heard of the sutra baths? Well, of course she has. No, where's that? Oh, wow. Oh, you're kidding. It's in uh, West San Excuse Francisco. Me. It's by the Cliff House. Yeah. It's in, uh, it's in San Francisco. No. Right? It's yeah, it's right off of the ocean, right underneath the Golden Gate Bridge side. And it's, wow. um, it was created by Adolf Sutro. Yeah. And they were these salt baths that were like huge swimming pools. 
and they flooded the pools from the ocean and people would swim and then they would unflood them for cleaning. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they're haunted? They're very haunted today, yes. Cool. <laughs> So we are going to go to that. We're going to go to the Golden Gate Bridge. You know, and hope, fun. hopefully nobody I will encourage not. us to jump. Yeah. <laughs> Don't jump even if they do. Don't jump even if they do. That's yeah. right. <laughs> no jumping allowed. <laughs> yeah, it's 400 feet. There's a ton. It's the currents underneath it that's the problem. Wow. There's the sharks. <laughs> Dracula, that's moving. Anniversary, is it in June? Tracer Fox, that's there. Ah, it's so frustrating. Sorry, guys. I just, it's, I'm sure they're starting to advertise it now, and it's, it's. it's <laughs> is it around the same time every year? I only went last year for the first time, and it was great. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know when it is. That's all right. I don't we, remember when. We will is. find it. Anyway, it, it, it will come up. I'm sure it's a Sher at, the, at a Sheraton. Sure, let me look up Sheraton. You have a doll behind. You have a doll behind you. Is there a story that goes with her? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Belle. She's my haunted doll. She's my 105 year old haunted doll from Belgium. People see her, I keep her way back there because she takes stage and she people see her move all the time and everything. Uh -huh. well, a girl sent her to me from Belgium because this doll made her sick for three years, made her hair fall out, made her little kid sick. And she had seen me on Ghost Adventures doing a seance with Peggy the doll, a much more haunted, much more dark doll with Peggy. And she figured I could handle her, so she sent her to me. The huh. doll was so strong that I had never even done a Facebook Live before. My first Facebook Live had 50,000 views. I don't get within zeros of any of that. It was not me, it was a doll. But I got the dark spirit out, and now there's this beautiful little girl spirit. Oh, that's this good. Thing, I got, this little thing, she oh. herself is not haunted. But there's a spirit in my house that moves her around. I was teaching my class. I was teaching a psychic protection class last week. And both my hands were like right here, and all of a sudden. <laughs> she had to be seen, huh? <laughs> That's a, is that a Japanese doll? It's pretty. I don't. I don't know. She, I don't know. She's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of a macabre in the face there. Yeah. Okay. Gothic. It's pretty. <laughs> She's very pretty. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. Her name's Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh. Ah. Um, <laughs> from the girl who gave her to me, but she, but if somebody blew up the video and saw a shadow or a, a light, a fog come out of here, my bookcase into the doll, move the doll. So it wasn't in the doll, it moved the doll. I'll be but I have a very well protected, but what I allow into my house, there's a spirit who lives here. Of I don't course. know where dark stuff in, but. Yeah, no, yeah. You, you know, it's part of the game. We have something. I like see the right the end right there. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a collection. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't originally know that the original Raggedy Ann was the Annabelle. Annabelle. <laughs> so I collect Raggedy Ann, and I like three or four of them. I, <laughs> I think it's tell her about your Indian dolls. Oh, I okay so. <laughs> I'll be right back. There's something I want to show you. Okay. <laughs> uh, these, these, these dolls were moving on their own when we first got them. Really? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Leroy, is there something you want to ask? Yeah, I just, I just want to say that those two dolls that were moving around, I had to put, I put energy on those dolls, and they finally. I can't really hear them. You're going to have to translate. We will. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to put them on speaker. On a bigger speaker. <laughs> so you can hear them. Yeah, he, he was there's, saying that he put energy on these dolls. There, these, I got, these two dolls I got from Miss Tina. Right, my, she's like, they're beautiful. Aren't they cute? Okay, I named them Andre and Siobhan. <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> and, and so my, my godmother... My godmother gave them to me, Miss Tina, and so when I brought them home, we had just moved into this apartment. And, speak to you. And, and I go and spend a night at Miss Tina's, and they did an investigation on the house. So I had 
Okay. I had this one is he on in my room phone? against the wall. Yeah. This one I had in the living room tucked up under a box. And somehow they did an investigation on my dogs oh. were moving all over the place. And one, that, one slammed the closet door and I don't know what happened. But they definitely did an investigation and Leroy took the spirits out these two dogs. But I just thought they were the most cutest things. Well, now did you tell her how they were moved down the yeah, hall on their them. own? Oh, I, I, Andre's definitely going to have to tell them about that. What? The moving. The, about what happened because it drug Andre, one of them drug Andre onto the floor. Yeah. <laughs> I always get, they don't want to get uh, attacked sometimes. So tell her what happened. <laughs> I'm, 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 we're going to tell <laughs> the whole story as soon as I connect them to it. <laughs> Say something, Lee. Oh, it's thinking. Uh, yeah, we can yeah, hear you now. But it's not connected to the the Bluetooth. Can you put him on speakerphone on the phone? He's on speaker, isn't he? Yeah. He Maybe is. that's the problem. That's the problem. He needs to be off speakerphone on the phone. <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Is, anyway, <laughs> so tell her about the dolls. What happened the night? Of okay, so the night of the dolls, which was creepy. We just moved in here like about last year, and when she brought those dolls here, she had them here on the couch, and they ended up in the hallway. The door slammed, so we went to find out like why did the door slam? When we looked in the hallway, we saw one just standing there. In the middle of the hallway, yeah. Yeah, and then cool. Leroy, um, That's he, he had to throw, cool. he throws energy, so he had to throw energy on it to get get the, whatever was the, that was in the doll out of it. But then it went to the other doll, and oh my god, this yeah, uh, yeah. both of the dolls were moving around. So he he did he did something. Um, you have to explain that part, Lee. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I'll say it and I'll tell her. What did you do okay, to get the... So what I do is I, I pulled my knife. Asked oh, yeah. He pulled his knife. He asked the universe to bless the knife. He drew a pentacle in the air and stabbed the pentacle. That's what he does. So he, does he stabs a pentacle. Yeah, he, he drew a pentacle in the air and stabbed it oh. with his knife. Trying do you to do it? Is it? Do you do an LBRP, a lesser branch ritual with the pentagram? Oh, LBR. Do, 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 do. That's part of the LBRP. Okay. The, then that is what you, yeah. Protection, super protection. You call it Galbraith, Raphael. It's part of uh, the Lumic witchcraft. Okay. Magic. Okay. And we're working with the archangels. Archangels. Yes. Yes, he, he calls on Archangel and Michael, he said. The four angels. And okay, four so angels. that's part of, he should learn, uh, if he doesn't do it, it's, LB, it's called the LBRP, the, the Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram. It's, a, okay. it's kind of a chant, it's a, like you're drawing it, and then you st a stab into it, and okay. it's really protective. Oh, so okay, okay. Is, it's correct. Yeah, yes. Enough. Now these are things that we can learn on your... On, on, on your website that you're show. on yeah, your show. Again, in my school, we have amazing teachers besides myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> well, I can't wait to check out your site. Yes. <laughs> you know, you're going to see money yeah. flowing across from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't stop learning. I. I'm all about learning. I don't stop because you can't. So if I'm not teaching, I'm studying. That's right. Because there's so much. And the more you understand, plus of, of belief systems of everybody, the more you know, the more you know how to handle. That's right. Whatever right. comes up. Right. Whatever comes up. That's right. So, that so is, we got to start studying. That is yeah, good I'm, concept. I study a lot of things with myself. Do you? Well, oh, yeah. one, one thing I like to say is that I can't wait to do an investigation with you one day. Well, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be, that'd be yeah. awesome. That'll be awesome. We would love that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah Leroy yeah. is just biting at the bit to be able to see you and speak with you. And <laughs> he's just right here going, 
<laughs> Help! Get my voice across! Yes. <laughs> hey! Sorry, I am still I am still looking on the Paraflix page to see because I know we at Paraflix we are sponsoring the Tahoe thing and I okay. can't think of it. This is my little brain. I have like 15 big trips this year. Wow. All, all of the world. Wow. And, um, I, they just don't say from Romania and Ireland and the UK and then Kansas and Vulture City, Arizona and Tahoe and they don't stay in my brain. <laughs> just my brain's crafted. Even with the war that's going on over there in the UK, are you concerned about going over there? The, all, I'm not concerned. I'm, I'm, I don't want to protect. <laughs> I mean, magically in every other way. They did push back the Romania trip. I'm still going to, uh, in next month in March, I'm going to be in the UK. That's not that close to Russia being invaded. Um, Ireland in May I'm doing, but the Romania, which is close to, right. the, to the Ukraine, we pushed that back to November. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> so something... Okay, yeah, and it's it level four COVID, and they pushed it back oh, to November. Oh, yes, right. yeah, ah, I do yeah. not blame you. Okay, all right. Well, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, why am I not finding it? That's so frustrating. Oh, it's going to be in the class. All my questions are going to be in the class. So, yeah. yeah, pretty I, much. I, yeah. I, I, well, I, again, yeah, I, it, you'll see. You know what I'm saying? You know, my life is basically a teacher. I have a podcast called The Witching Hour that I have amazing Ooh. guests every week on. It's, it's all about learning stuff, education stuff, spirituality, magic. Paranormal investigations. I have the best of the best every week on that. My just my podcast. I have a podcast. Um, so I have to join that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is everywhere. Parable. So, so pretty pretty soon here, we're going to be the next TV show. Just yes. to let you know. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Go for it. Yeah. Before the go year is it. out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're working on it now. <laughs> Good. Oh, we're oh. we're going to be on radio. Um, for, uh, have you ever heard of AM Coast? I think it's called it's AM. coast to coast. Coast, coast to coast. Coast, coast. coast to coast. Are yeah. You know the George Nori? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love her. I've done his TV show, which is at Gaia. They fly you to Colorado, and then his regular radio show, Coast to Coast. He's great. He's is he's he? a staple. He's the big one. Oh he's yeah. The big one. Um, paranormal stuff. The but, George Nori. When do yeah. you know when you're going on Coast to Coast? Uh, in April. In April. We're supposed to go over there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be good. No, he, well, you know, he is a big on, name. It's, it's late at night. You guys know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All night long. <laughs> oh, yeah. we Isn't late. everything late at night in this business? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Everything is late at night. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing sleeping in the day? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, uh, I've been talking to Zach Bagans recently. Have you? Yes. Yeah. On uh, on uh, what do you call it? Uh, Google, Gmail. I have his Gmail address, and we've been talking back and forth. Are you sure it's the real one? Are you sure it's the real one? I hope so. Just make sure <laughs> it's the real one, because there's yeah. so many fake Zach Bagans out there. Uh, oh as a, no! As a, oh, that as is a rule, he's a tester. All right. Oh, he's a tester. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. What's that mean? Tell me what Zach said. Get your ass in gear. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he said. He well, told, uh, but we're trying. We got to make sure this is the real Zach Lee. Yes. But, yeah, yeah. We want to make sure it's the real Zach because I get calls every day from people who are like, I'm talking to Zach about this, and like Zach knows nothing about it. Oh, so wow. tell them you want to video chat right now. No excuse that you can't video chat, just like we're doing now. And any excuse they come up with, if it's not him, because he's not a chatter. He's not a chatter. Ah. Um, and if he won't video chat with you in the moment, it's not Zach. No okay. matter what he says and what good excuse they have, and they come up with some really good ones. Oh. <laughs> now we get to see. We're going to test yeah. that out. I'm going to test that theory. Well, and of course we can just be honest with him and tell him that, you know, we don't know if this is the real you. We there, just like a residual haunting, residual energy and a clearing. You got to teach him that. Like, okay, just like you stepped in dog poop. 
you cleaned off a shoe but it still smells a while, make sure that's really clear with them. That, right. So they don't recall it back in. Right, right. See, and these are things we're going to want to teach them as well. That's, that's yeah. kind of what I do. I let them know that a lot of it has to do with their mental and how they think after we clear and how they act after they clear. Because I know that, from my understanding, a lot of spirits will be attracted to the messy brain. A lot of negative spirits are attracted to the messy brain. So I let them know, you know, you got to not be so messy as in, in your head. You got to relax a little bit and just, you know, kind of clear it yourself. Clear your head and you clear your lands, you know. Exactly, 100%. Again, and I would work elementally. That's your belief system. Right. In my regular seances and galleries, I only talk to good and light spirits, of course. Talk to grandma. Talk to your kid who died in school. Right. If I... I'm on an investigation or I'm with Zach and the guys and the TFIL guys will talk to anybody. I'll channel it. I've spoken backwards before, which is weird. The Cecil Hotel. And Ooh, I, I, I thought I was talking. All they heard was gibberish. They played it backwards. So, but, so oh, wow. there's a seance I use as the official term, Victorian style, my herbs, my oils, my this. Around the table. If, I, if it's bigger than that, I call it a gallery. Um, but it's a good thing to do, again, the way I do it is a lifting of the veil, but if you're on an investigation, you could do it as an official seance or a lifting of the veil. We just did it on the airline pilot the other day, just real casual <laughs> way of doing it. Yeah. Well, you know how to This is Researching the Paranormal.